The informal term, Soviet Empire, has two meanings. In the narrow sense, it expresses a view in Western Sovietology that the Soviet Union as a state was a colonial empire. The onset of this interpretation is traditionally attributed to Richard Pipes's book The Formation of the Soviet Union In the wider sense, it refers to the country's perceived imperialist foreign policy during the Cold War. The nations said to be part of the Soviet Empire in the wider sense were officially independent countries with separate governments that set their own policies, but those policies had to remain within certain limits decided by the Soviet Union and enforced by threat of intervention by the Warsaw Pact Hungary 1956, Czechoslovakia 1968 and Poland 1980. Countries in this situation are often called satellite states. Characteristics. <laughs> <laughs> Though the Soviet Union was not ruled by an emperor and declared itself anti-imperialist and a people's democracy, critics argue that it exhibited tendencies common to historic empires. Some scholars hold that the Soviet Union was a hybrid entity containing elements common to both multinational empires and nation-states. It has also been argued that the Soviet Union practiced colonialism as did other imperial powers. Maoists argued that the Soviet Union had itself become an imperialist power while maintaining a socialist facade. The other dimension of Soviet imperialism is cultural imperialism. The policy of Soviet cultural imperialism implied the Sovietization of culture and education at the expense of local traditions, the penetration of the Soviet influence into the socialist leaning countries was also of the political and ideological kind as rather than getting hold on their economic riches, the Soviet Union pumped enormous amounts of «international assistance» into them in order to secure influence, eventually to the detriment of its own economy. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, when Russia declared itself successor it recognized $103 billion of Soviet foreign debt while claiming $140 billion of Soviet assets abroad. Influence The Soviet Empire is considered to have included the following states. <inaudible> Soviet satellite states These countries were the closest allies of the Soviet Union. They were often members of the Comic-Con, a Soviet-led economic community founded in 1949. In addition, the ones located in Eastern Europe were also members of the Warsaw Pact. They were sometimes called the Eastern Bloc in English and were widely viewed as Soviet satellite states. Democratic Republic of Afghanistan Albania ended participation in Comic-Con after 1961 due to Soviet-Albanian split People's Republic of Angola after the Soviet intervention in the Angolan Civil War Bulgaria China before the Sino-Soviet split Cuba Czechoslovakia East Germany People's Democratic Republic of Ethiopia Hungary Iraq Mongolia Nicaragua due to the Nicaraguan Revolution North Korea 1945 to 1991 after Chinese intervention in the Korean War in 1950 North Korea remained a Soviet ally but used the Juche ideology to balance Chinese and Soviet influence pursuing a highly isolationist foreign policy and not joining the Comecon or any other international organization of communist states following the withdrawal of Chinese troops in 1958 Poland Romania until 1968 South Yemen North Vietnam, Vietnam after 1976. Tuvan People's Republic annexed by Soviet Union 1944. United Arab Republic. Yugoslav Partisans Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia ended affiliation with the Soviet Union in 1948 due to Tito-Stalin split. Topic: <laughs> Independent Communist States. Some communist states were sovereign from the Soviet Union and criticized many policies of the Soviet Union. Relations were often tense, sometimes even to the point of armed conflict. Yugoslavia in Form Bureau period, 1948 to 1955. Albania following the Soviet-Albanian split in 1955 to the Sino-Albanian split in 1972. 
China following the Sino-Soviet split. Democratic Kampuchea 1975 to 1979 due to the Cambodian-Vietnamese War. Somali Democratic Republic 1977 to 1991 due to the Ogaden War. Socialist Republic of Romania 1968 to 1989 due to Nicolae Ceausescu's refusal to participate at the Warsaw Pact invasion of Czechoslovakia. Topic: <laughs> Soviet involvement in the Third World. Some countries in the Third World had pro-Soviet governments during the Cold War. In the political terminology of the Soviet Union, these were countries moving along the socialist road of development, as opposed to the more advanced countries of developed socialism, which were mostly located in Eastern Europe, but also included Vietnam and Cuba. They received some aid, either military or economic, from the Soviet Union and were influenced by it to varying degrees. Sometimes, their support for the Soviet Union eventually stopped for various reasons and in some cases the pro-Soviet government lost power while in other cases the same government remained in power, but ended its alliance with the Soviet Union. Some of these countries were not communist states. They are marked in italic. Egypt 1954-1973 Syria 1955-1991 Equatorial Guinea 1968 to 1979 Iraq 1958 to 1963 1968 to 1991 Guinea 1960 to 1978 Mali 1960 to 1968 Burma 1962 to 1988 Somali Democratic Republic 1969 to 1977 at the outbreak of the Somali invasion of Ethiopia in 1977 the Soviet Union ceased to support Somalia with the corresponding change in rhetoric but Somalia broke diplomatic relations with the Soviet Union and the United States adopted Somalia as a Cold War ally Algeria 1962 to 1990 Ghana 1964 to 1966 Peru 1968 to 1975 Sudan 1968 to 1972 Libya 1969 to 1991 People's Republic of the Congo 1969 to 1991 Chile 1970 to 1973 Cape Verde 1975 to 1990 Sao Tome and Principe 1975 to 1991 South Yemen 1967 to 1990 Uganda 1972 to 1979 Indonesia 1959 to 1965 India 1971 to 1989 People's Republic of Bangladesh 1971 to 1975 Democratic Republic of Madagascar 1972 to 1991 Guinea-Bissau 1973 to 1991 Derg 1974 to 1987 People's Democratic Republic of Ethiopia 1987 to 1991 Lao People's Democratic Republic 1975 to 1991 People's Republic of Benin 1975 to 1990 People's Republic of Mozambique 1975 to 1990 People's Republic of Angola 1975 to 1991 Seychelles 1977 to 1991 Democratic Republic of Afghanistan 1978 to 1991 People's Revolutionary Government Grenada 1979 to 1983 Nicaragua 1979 to 1990 People's Republic of Kampuchea 1979 to 1989 Burkina Faso 1983 to 1987 in addition Guyana Tanzania Portugal and Sri Lanka constitutionally declared themselves to be socialist even though the Soviet Union has never believed them to be moving towards socialism topic <laughs> <laughs> neutral states the position of finland was complex in World War II, Finland had successfully resisted Soviet attack in 1944 and remained in control of most of its territory at the end of the war. Finland also had a market economy, traded on the Western markets and joined the Western currency system. 
Nevertheless, although Finland was considered neutral, the Finno-Soviet Treaty of 1948 significantly limited the freedom of operation in Finnish foreign policy. It required Finland to defend the Soviet Union from attacks through its territory, which in practice prevented Finland from joining NATO and effectively gave the Soviet Union a veto in Finnish foreign policy. The Soviet Union could thus exercise «imperial» hegemonic power even towards a neutral state. The Pasikivi Kekkonen doctrine sought to maintain friendly relations with the Soviet Union and extensive bilateral trade developed. In the West, this led to fears of the spread of Finlandization, where Western allies would no longer reliably support the United States and NATO. See also American imperialism, Anti Russian sentiment Captive nations Chinese imperialism Common form Communist state Evil empire speech Greater Germanic Reich Imperialism Index of Soviet Union-related articles Red Empire Sino-Soviet split Western betrayal References <references> <references>